Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, advice, guidance, and I want to touch on the subject of bitachon, trust in God. Key element uh, in uh, trusting in God, bitachon, is uh, sincerity. One is blessed in accordance with his uh, sincerity. Sincere bitachon results in blessing. And um, one of the examples is in the Torah, and uh, when it talks about the, uh, the sabbatical year, and it says, um, Torah questions. What will you say? If you will say, what will we eat in the seventh year? Remember, seven years, six years, the seventh, the ground lies uh, fallow. You're not supposed to gather, you're not supposed to harvest, you're not supposed to pick, you're just supposed to leave it. What do we eat in the seventh year? I, this is God speaking, I will ordain my blessing for you in the sixth year. In other words, there'll be like a double amount in the sixth year, which will hold you over for the seventh year. That's in uh, uh, Leviticus uh, 25, verses 20 and 21. Now, uh, Harav Yaakov uh, Befus. Uh, told a story about the uh, Al Sheikh Hakadosh, and the Al um, the Al Sheikh Hakadosh was giving a lecture, giving a sermon, a drash, a Dvar Torah, uh, to his students and to members of the congregation. That um, sincerity uh, is key, and he repeated many times that um, one who sincerely trusts in the Creator will reap the greatest benefits. Sincerity, bitachon, he stressed this again and again. Well, in, um, among the assemblage, was a um, very simple uh, Jew. And he earned his living by hauling sand and clay and limestone for the construction trade. This was his job, loading up a wagon. He and his donkey would go. That's how he made a living. He heard the al say that you're supposed to trust in God. He takes this very literally. He drops everything and decides to recite psalms to him all day and to pray. Pray, psalms, psalms, pray. Did nothing else. Didn't earn a living. Eventually, his money runs out. Um, he ends up selling his trusted donkey and the wagon to uh, a neighbor down the road. He continues with his daily recitation, um, uh, recitation of prayers and to heal him. Psalms, prayers, that's all he did. Because he was firm in his belief that um, all would be well. He was in God's hands. His money basically is running out. He still prays, davens with great kavana, great sincerity. He reads the Psalms with great sincerity. One day, his money is has run out. His donkey, the donkey appears at the Jew's home, pulling a wagon laden with sand and clay, limestone. He looks in the wagon, he unloads it, and buried under all the clay and the sand and the, and the stones was a sack of gold. He, he didn't know what was going on. He investigated the matter. He goes down the road. The Gentile to whom he sold the donkey and the wagon had dug a pit, apparently dug a pit, found a sack of gold, loaded it onto the wagon along with the, the rest of his stuff, covered it up, went back into the pit, I suppose looking for more, the pit collapses, covering him and killing him. This neighbor had 
no family, no heirs. He was all alone. The treasure belonged then to the simple Jew and um, became a very wealthy man, sack full of gold. He's telling this, um, the al is uh, telling it to his students, and his students uh, became uh, a little upset. And they said to him, why is this person so special? What's so unique about him? What's, a, what's, what's so good about his bitachon? Uh, his trust in God, is it greater than ours? We're rabbinical students, what are you talking about? He says, we've never uh, discovered such a treasure, we've never been rewarded like this. What's the difference between us and him? How come we're not a re how come he's rewarded, this simple Jew is rewarded, and we're not? We spend all day studying, learning, what's the matter? The Alshur uh, re responded that the simple Jew took everything that he said in the correct manner. He took it literally. His trust was complete. His trust was sincere. His faith, his amuna, unequivocal. Hashem rewarded this Jew commensurate with his sincerity. He was simple and sincere. He had truth and simplicity. Amos and Pashtus. And because of this pure, simple sincerity, he was rewarded. And that explains the story. So, again, sincerity. When you approach the Creator with truth, capital T, truth, sincerity, Amos, God will hear you. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Mona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.